Yo, what's up guys, this is Happy No with another Guild Wars 2 PvP video. And this time with a build update to the Power Revenant. Um, where I'm not going to show you right now gameplay. Because I still need to make a little bit the uh, adjustments. Try to figure out how to make it really viable. But for now I just decided to give you an update on the Power Revenant. Because as you all know, after the latest release notes update nerfs revenant got nerfed quite a bit and with the nerf yeah they took a little bit the damage away from the revenant and where i just had to decide will i try to play the meta one or just try to create something for myself and i just went with the idea of a boon sharing revenant boon master i call it like that and it just seemed to be for me the viable option here I played this build now twice and it worked quite well in my opinion but still I'm thinking of playing this build with a how to say it high risk high reward variant but I will tell you about that a little bit later. So it's still double sword with staff and the main nerf by the way for the people who don't know it is the sword auto damage got nerfed by 10% or the overall damage got nerfed by 10% which is huge. Uh, especially because you relied as a revenant you rely on your cleaving ability your auto attacks high damage output with that and now you just got nerfed a little bit but it's still in my opinion you can do still a lot of work and the second nerf is of course to the might duration because you were easily able to stack 25 stacks of might within a problem without doing anything almost and now they nerf that a little bit but i still managed to figure out this build so you can still stack your 25 stacks of might have perma fury and no trouble fighting in team fights as well so again sigil of opportunity with sigil of exploitation both sigils are there to increase your damage uh, especially against enemies under 50 percent hp to finish them quickly movement impaired foes are uh, those foes who you will apply chill or uh, what is the other one slow chill we have those two conditions your allies can also cripple the enemy players you can also immobilize which is also one of those uh, conditions that will give you additional damage bonus and yeah in a team fight you will almost have every time cripple chill and stuff on enemy players so you will have this damage bonus there and on the 50 percent hp to finish off the low hp targets then on the staff I'm using Sigil of Agility still. This is now for the reason that we are using this build here. Otherwise you can also try Annulment or even Sigil of Battle to have additional Might Stacks if you if it gets removed from yourself. And otherwise, yeah, maybe also the Renewing one. Uh, not Renewing, Cleansing. Sigil of Cleansing for extra condition cleanse could be also nice against certain condition comps but it's up to you and then sigil of energy like a must have to have an additional dodge and therefore more survivability for the rune rune of leadership for the longest boon duration and three conditions into boons with our elite skill 45 seconds which means every time we use our elite skill twice we will have it because the elite skill has also 45 seconds cooldown so it matches pretty nice with this rune this rune here gives you also a 25% longer boon duration and now what's new is the Seeker Amulet Power Precision for us and Consecration which grants us in combination with the rune of leadership and with our build 72% longer boon duration for us ourselves. This is quite strong because this build relies on our boons and we will have them up for almost during entire time if you played well and of course you will get corrupted by any necromancers but still you will be able to hold this up for a while the build is typically the same devastation invocation and herald but with changes now to the last trait lines here wishes laceration remains the same nine percent damage bonus if you hit three times with your sword or if you crit with other attacks which is pretty easy with this build and then notoriety notoriety like that might grants you more power and less condition damage gain might when using a legendary stance skill 
gain more when using a legendary assassin skill so every time we use an assassin still skill to explain it for you guys we will grant ourselves three stacks of might for 17 and a fourth second let's say 17 seconds uh, this occurs every time we apply uh, for ourselves a legendary assassin skill which means impossible odds our healing skill enhanced daggers and face traversal and everything like that gives us this might and on the other stances here we will be granting ourselves two stacks of might uh, which will give us a little bit less power but still more than enough 80 power per stack and on the assassin stance 120 therefore the condition damage that might grants is a little bit lower but we don't really need that we are based on dps and as you can see here keep in mind only in combat so don't try to waste your skills from the assassin stance without being in combat because once you are in combat you will get yourself more mites and therefore be more deadly keep that in mind then brutality trade line gain quickness when you swap weapons while you have quickness your strikes remove stability this is where the sigil of agility procs in comes in here uh, you will have for one five second and a fourth uh, quickness and during those five seconds you will remove remove <laughs> what was that uh, you will remove every second you are able to remove stability from enemy players this occurs also if you use your elite skill and the enemy has stability what happens is your elite skill hits the enemy player knocks it knocks him away even though he has stability and you apply damage and cc pretty deadly and awful for enemy players and you, as you can see there five seconds due to this build so it's pretty strong to use this and of course we will grant ourselves even more quickness in another trade line in combination with this build so it it will affect quite a bit here people who rely on stability are really wrecked with this build then invocation i'm using cleansing channel invoking a legend removes a condition which is still nice for survivability reasons otherwise rising tide is for the hardcore players who just rely on bursting enemy players getting out of combat joining in again um, yeah it's hard to maintain your 90 percent hp because only one hit from any kind of player and you are below 90 percent so you will not get affected so much by this keep that in mind uh, i would recommend this only for hardcore pro players for not so advanced go with cleansing channel incensed response gain might when you grant yourself fury we grant ourselves fury here every time we use face of darkness or every time we swap our uh, stances here and of course here gain fury when you evoke a legend so evoking swapping I, I call it swapping but evoking is the main term here <laughs> evoking a legend will now break stance as well and here we go with call of the assassin normally you used to go with roiling mists but this just gives you a 10 percent higher crit chance and therefore what you gain here with this straight line is like much stronger than those 10 percent critical hit chance because you can see it here i'm already having a 76 percent crit chance so i will have an 86 percent critical hit chance which is not so high in my opinion it for me 76 more than enough of course with 86 you will crit a little bit more but still your damage output should be not that much higher and now with this one here uh how it called song of the mists as it looks like you will gain every time you swap evoke the other legends swap your legends you will get here an additional boon which is additional boon additional attack which is called here on the assassin stance call of the assassin it will apply damage to enemy players and grant you three and a half seconds of additional quickness and for each target that you hit which means for each enemy you strike or even beast um, you will grant yourself an additional almost two seconds of quickness and keep in mind with this build here brutality trade line uh, when you have quickness your strikes remove stability and you can see it here this removal effect can only occur once per interval or on each target and it says nothing about if you grant yourself quickness from other sources so it should trigger it every time and basically what you get here is five and a fourth seconds in combination with those three seconds three and a half 
uh, you should be getting eight seconds almost nine seconds immediately quickness so nine seconds of stability removal and if you hit multiple targets you will grant yourself even more so like let's say uh, almost like 10 seconds of quickness guaranteed if you are playing facing multiple enemies pretty strong combo here and removing stability during those 10 seconds five times pretty nice pretty nice and then the other one is call of the dragon which strikes enemies around you inflicting multiple conditions which is two stacks of burning in combination with our 25 stacks of might that will hurt the enemy players as well and three seconds of chill which is in favor of this build here again with sigil of opportunity granting ourselves an additional five percent damage bonus to those people pretty uh, pretty strong in my opinion especially in team fights additional damage output is always good and yeah that's just basically the main reason here and the, book, the other ones just made in my opinion not so much sense the rolling miss would make more sense if you go with berserker amulet where you need the higher crit chance but otherwise this one is the way to go in my opinion especially with a longer boon duration here as you can see it then on the herald core value is still not thing to go because you can remove instead of two boons three which is even deadlier when you remove the stability from enemy players you will remove with your assassin stance additional three boons which means you will deal damage and remove boons even while enemies are blocking which is pretty strong otherwise my thing would have been here elders respite for the people who require a little bit more survivability regeneration heals more gain regeneration when your health falls below the threshold which you can see it here in this with this build you have a longer regeneration duration and the regeneration grants you additional healing which could be pretty beneficial for your survivability here with this build the next is shared empowerment one second uh, how to say it, cooldown each second it will apply when applying a boon to an ally also apply might to nearby allies uh, was it does it not say something and when you grant might to nearby allies you will grant it to yourself as well it should be like this but it seems not to write it down here but never mind it's still something good because for each boon that you apply to an ally you will also grant additional might which is pretty strong and as you can see here this might is again stronger for dps players you will grant them 40 power and 20 condition damage so they will have also higher damage output while playing with you uh, just muting my phone for a second it's always here somewhere near and always when i try to make a video uh, someone writes me now let's go with the last one draconic echo you face at passive effects additional targets and you retain them for a duration after using their consumabilities this is the thing to go with this boom build and i will also show you the aggressive type of this build and um, this just allows us every time we use my our facets uh, we will still get the boons from them which means for six seconds uh, i can activate them and you can see it here i swap here and you can see it here all the facets are still triggering we are getting might we are getting fury and swiftness for six seconds in addition to the normal usage there and now i can swap and now i can use my elite skill again those skills here i just pop them up and i will just be granting them and just consider the strong thing here is that you can grant yourself quite a long duration of protection and while the skill is still triggering even if an enemy removes it you will still be granting it to yourself um, because they can remove the boom but the usage here the passive fast face it will still trigger your ability here you can see it so this means it's pretty strong in team fights and keep in mind every time you're near your allies they will be granting the face its boons as well and that's what makes this build so unique and strong um, this build is not just meant to be playing for yourself but you can also help your allies with that for example here you go for a revive you knock back enemy players and you will be still granting yourself and the downed ally protection and this is something that could be really strong and beneficial in team fights especially if you are team reviving something should be pretty solid the crit chance is high enough 
and this still allows you here uh, to grant yourself the max amount of 25 stacks of might which i will be showing you here quickly on the golems before i end the video and what makes this build so unique so here we go the target golem is here and as always you can just what i'm trying to do testing out is like this before i start the battle here we are getting out of respawn and i just am about to get all my hp drained do this uh, removed uh, I ha would have used f2 and then just joined the battle here go like this and yeah it, I just quickly show you some combos here nothing really special just to show you a little bit how you stack your might stacks there swap here to your quickness and you can see it here eight seconds of quickness pretty strong and now when I swap here I will have an additional six seconds of quickness uh, let's see how much might i can just stack here here we go 25 stacks of might the quickness is still triggering i have my 3k attacks pretty deadly here and i'm still rocking my 25 stacks of um, might 12 seconds of stability meanwhile just removing there any kind of how to say it any kind of stability just being pretty deadly there swapping one more time and as you can see it here most of the times you will have your 3k power level 500 condition damage which will also just be beneficial when you swap to your dragon stance the burning will apply some hi high damage there i will just test it out for you guys how much it will just be affecting here and yeah you can just see it here swapping a little bit get yourself the quickness and the burning deals like 300 damage which seems not so much but it should have been still more than enough and you can see it here what what you can see basically is just uh, insane in my opinion because i'm still just having my boons up nothing will change this i'm having here my five boons during the entire time swap here and i just am all also able to almost remain my entire quickness here removing stability with my cc's going for this one another stability here jump onto my enemy player here get the quickness attacks going on high power level here and just be pretty deadly you can see it here again just yeah pretty deadly 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 <laughs> just dealing damage going for this one cc swapping here another cc granting myself some quickness swapping again quickness is still up swapping one more time here and now i can go again back to my sword cc this guy doing some damage i have my protection up unblockable attacks quickness yeah you can see it here the 25 stacks of might pretty easy to hold on to it protection fury permanently and this just is pretty pretty deadly this benefit this is also beneficial for you against uh, dps players which means spell breakers or guardian players with the protection they will deal much lower damage to your to you and of course as i just said for your allies they will also pretty be uh enhanced in, empowered by that and the strongest thing here is if you use your face of nature while you stay stand near your ally you will grant them your boons that you grant them here for an even longer duration and you can see it here already six stacks of might which means like a 500 damage bonus more or less 500 damage bonus to them and yeah the effects remain still if you use it for a few seconds longer which is pretty nice and even the f2 here will also be granting your allies here the ability to steer life from enemy players this will not occur uh, with the draconic echo trait line it will only appear here uh, once you use your other skills here and you can see it here just to show it to you as well you will be still granting your allies for example while i'm reviving all those boons while you wasted your faces pretty strong you can see it here protection 
at least 15 seconds if the enemy player has no uh, corruption your downed ally will have it a lot easier to get up especially if you get a double revive you will revive almost any in any kind of situation if you are not getting hardcore cc and that's just typically the build and for the hardcore players again you can go with the rune of strength to just go for the longest might duration and to max out the might because you saw uh, depending on your combos or if you have to retreat a little bit you will not be able to remain the 25 stacks of might most of the times but with the rune of strength you can and then of course for the hardest players here berserker amulet a berserker amulet here um, almost 70 percent critical hit chance so how to say it you will deal more damage uh, but it's still up to you how to manage your survivability because the leadership one and the seek the rune of the seeker just grant you the longer boon duration and therefore more survivability and of course the three conditions into boons are a huge uh, quality of life improvement for yourself uh, especially because on most most games that you will face at least one condition player and it will be beneficial for yourself so this is for the more advanced and higher rated players in my opinion and yeah i, I recommend you try this build out and if you want to see some gameplay of this build just let me know i will of course show it to you but right now i'm not into revenant right now i will need to test it out on unranked arena a little bit more and figure out some nice combo rotations and then show it to yours as well so this was it guys the after nerf power revenant the boon sharing master my own creation by the way not copied by any other player <laughs> and it's free it's up to you i already tested it twice as i said i had fun with it and i can see it in the future being played so it's up to you test it out maybe you like it maybe you have also some adjustments to make to make this build even more viable let me know so and now as always three of my other videos which you can watch or not and of course you can subscribe to my youtube channel only if you like to if not don't do it that was happy no with the new fresh boon master revenant and i'll see you in my next videos guys have a good one bye bye all